What's going on, oh snap, three, two, one. So, a little bit of bad news, fam. I, uh, I seem to have misplaced or lost uh, the video file I had for the reaction I did to the, um, the nine reactor impressions parodies. Um, so, what I decided to do instead to make it up to you is uh, record a review on the video that you did to help promote um, the hard work that you put into it. I'm just going to give my thoughts, my opinions, um, you know, and, you know, try to, try to show my viewers, um, just how much work you actually put into this, all right? So, let's get started, guys. Okay, so the first time we see Oh Snap, he's actually uh, portraying himself as uh, one of the reactor fans or viewers, and he logs into his computer and he types in reactors on YouTube. And this is where the reactor parody impressions really start. So let's get straight into it. The first one he's going to do is Chainsaw Reacts. Okay, so overall, I will give this impression about, maybe about a 7 out of 10. And the reason I say that is because overall, he did a really great job impersonating Chainsaw Reacts. The only thing, the only critique that I would give, uh, give Snap here is, um, the missing beard. Now, you could have, I, I don't want to be too critical here, but... If it was me doing this video, I would have gone out and maybe bought a fake beard to go along with the Chainsaw Reacts impression, or do something similar to what Mercury did with uh, Danny Unchained, called Mercury Unchained, which is, you know, paint a fake beard on my face, you know, to go with it. But, despite that... You did an amazing job impersonating him. I also like the fact that you paint the picture of what the fans might be thinking uh, behind the computer screen. So for that, I give you uh, kudos throughout the entire video. So let's get it into the next one, which is DMB Nation. Now, I don't really watch DMB Nation all that much, but I have seen some of their videos. And I do like the fact that your editing skills are seriously on point as far as, you know, syncing both video clips together. Because you could clearly see in, in the dead center that there is a line right there that shows that he really did sync both videos together to make it seem like they are both actually there. So good, good job there. Tyrone Magnus is the next one. Now, as far as the Tyrone Magnus intro goes, um, I really think you should have approached your computer from the left side instead of coming through the door. Your deep impression um, is pretty good. I, but, I mean, I understand you're, you're kind of young, so... The deep voice aspect is only so much you can do there. But overall, I will say that uh, your Tyrone Magnus impression is probably maybe... I'd give it like an 8 out of 10. It's pretty good. Alright, so the next one you're going to do is my homie Billy the Kid Lawrence. Um... I have to be completely honest, I think you over, what is the word I'm looking for, you overly portrayed him as um, an overly positive person, 
he is a positive person, don't get me wrong. He's a very friendly dude. But I feel like the way you you portrayed him was kind of overly positive. And as you could see, the way you portrayed the viewer, I don't think that fans really view Billy Lawrence that way. That's just me personally. Moving on to the traveling reactor. Now, as far as the traveling reactor goes, um, I have seen a few of his videos, but I haven't watched a, enough videos to really give you um, a good critique or, or opinion on, on how well you did on his videos. I will say that it does look like you spent quite a few time studying his videos, studying his persona, and studying his um, body movement, I guess. So I think you did a pretty well job based on the videos that I have seen from Traveling Reactor. The next one you get into is the red dreaded one, Akasan. Okay, so I see you appear on the couch in all red. I will say that the persona and body movement is really on point. I can see that you did a really good job studying Akasan. My only critique is just like with the chainsaw beard. Um, if it was me, I would have gone out of my way to, you know, with Akasan, maybe I would have gone out of my way to buy a wig with dreads and, you know, try to portray him that way. But other than that, you did a pretty, really good job impersonating Akasan. Um, you, I noticed that you even included the red outline in the video overlay, so that was pretty, pretty well done, man. So I give you, with Akasan, probably, let's say a 7 out of 10. Now, the next one you move on to is Team Moss Boss Productions. Team Moss Boss, I've seen it, actually watched quite a few of his videos, so I can give you a really good review on how well you did on his impression. Now, the way you have your headset on, I can't explain it, but the way you did a dress up, it, it's really on point. And honestly, like, even if you didn't put Team Moss Boss in the text, before this video, I could tell who you're trying to portray in this video. Now, I'm not trying to throw shade or hate in any way, um, but the way you portray the fans watching his videos is exactly sometimes how I do feel when I watch his videos. I feel like he pauses the video a little bit too much. He does give a little bit too much commentary, um, but that's just, you know, me giving my honest critique, you know, regarding his videos. Not trying to throw hate or shade his way. That's just my personal opinion. I think you did a really good job, um, you know, making me feel like I could relate to how the fans might feel while watching his videos. So with the Team Moss Boss um, impersonation, I'm probably going to give you a 9 out of 10. Because I feel like you did a really great job. I think we should move on to the next one. Okay, so the next one you move on to is the Epic Reactor. Um, I'm going to be completely honest with you, fam. I'm probably going to give you a 5 out of 10 for the epic reactor the reason why is because um just like billy lawrence i feel like you kind of overly portrayed his persona a little bit that's just me personally um although he is a huge godzilla fan i don't feel like he his fandom is really that lit or that on a high level like that i don't feel like he really freaks out over godzilla as much as you portrayed that he did um you know i'm not i don't want to be overly critical here because i i do see that you've put a lot of work into this video 
but I can't help but give my honest opinion on it. So that's just me. Moving on to the Supto Bros. Now, I used to study the Supto Bros quite a bit before I became a reactor. Gator Martin and Cooley. And now I play PlayStation with Cooley quite often, so I've gotten to know him a little bit better. I will say this. Um, I'm probably going to give you maybe a 7 out of 10 for the Supto Bros. Um, I feel like you really did a great job impersonating their body movement and, and their reactions. Um, however, I will say that you, if it was me, I would have chosen to do the split screen video editing at a, maybe a, maybe a dinner table, because that's normally where they do their reactions. But despite that, their persona, you did pretty well on. Okay, so now we move on to the bonus round where you throw a bunch of other reactors all into one, I guess, quick category, I guess. First one is fandom reactions. I really love how you did fandom reactions. Flight reacts. Did a good job. You did a 10 out of 10 for flight reacts. I really loved how you impersonated flight reacts. Charmix, I don't know, really know him all that well. Crazy Ninja is a good friend of mine. Jinx is a 10 out of 10. I loved how you impersonated him. Deadpool Party, I would say maybe 8 out of 10. Blasphemous, you did very well. Torchwood Boy, you did very well. Incredible Geek, I would say maybe uh, a 5 out of 5. I'm Dante. 10 out of 10. I laughed at that, to be honest. Humanoid Freak, always be drinking that water. Boa Surreal. I don't think she acts like that all the time. Para React, I don't really know her all that well, so I can't really give my honest opinion. Rashad the Reactor, I know very well. <laughs> and me, of course. Now, regarding me, I want to say this. If you're gonna do my outro speech, you gotta do it right, fam. And the truth is, there's only one person in the entire Reactiverse that can do my outro right. And you're looking at him, fam. You got the persona right. Body language, all that, you got that good. But this is how you do the outro speech. We kill!